Over the almost 11-year history of Beeman G-Drive, there have been many amazing mods. But as time went by, many of these mods slowly faded into obscurity. Some of them were replaced by newer versions. Some were broken by the game updates. And some of them were simply forgotten over the years. In today's video, I will show you the most iconic BeamNG mods that have been forgotten by the community. Buckle up everyone, because we're heading on a journey back in time. Our journey begins with Hirochi Prasu. This mod is heavily based on a Toyota Supra, and it used to be the most iconic BeamNG mod back in the day. Every well-known YouTuber has used this mod at some point. Despite all the game updates, Hirochi Prasu is still in excellent condition and has no missing textures or any signs of being outdated. The mod contains a total of 21 configurations that can be tuned in various ways. However, as time passed and mods of real-life cars began to emerge, the once iconic status of the Hirochi Prasu began to fade. But for those who remember, its legacy lives on in our hearts. Next up, we have Bitron B2. Bitron was released in 2017, just like the Hirochi Prasu. Once again, it's based on a real-life car, Citroën C2. This small French hatchback quickly became a very popular mod among BeamNG players and YouTubers. It even used to be the fastest car in the game. The mod contained a configuration with JTO rockets, allowing the car to reach speeds of over 400 miles per hour. We will try this configuration at the end of this video, so stay tuned, guys. Anyway, if we look at the interior, it's kind of decent. There is a digital dashboard and also a clock that shows the real time, which is quite impressive for a mod that is almost seven years old. Almost all configurations work, except for the 1.5L HDD configuration, which is uncontrollable upon spawning. And now, there we have the first real-life mod of this video. This is the Škoda 130L. I have a strong attachment to this car because it was one of the first mods I ever installed into BeamNG Drive. My dad used to own this car, and when this mod first appeared, I just had to try it out. The mod contains only three configurations. Author originally wanted to make more of them, but no further updates were ever released. As you can see at first glance, the windows have no texture. When we look inside, there are also some parts here that don't have textures anymore. It's not surprising, considering the car is seven years old. It's quite sad that it has fallen into obscurity like this. And now we have something special. I present to you the Cadillac Series 62, the very first mod ever created for BeamNG Drive. The author is the user Mythbuster who released it in August 2013. At first glance, the car seems to still work even after 11 years. There are no missing textures anywhere, the engine runs, and there's nothing indicating any issues. However, the reality is quite the opposite. If you try to drive the car, you'll only manage to rev the engine, but the car won't move. It wasn't easy to find a legitimate download link for this mod because the original mod page is deleted. Fortunately, somebody posted an original download link on the forum. But that's not all. Another guy even managed to find a fixed version that can still be driven to this day. I'll leave the download link for you in the video description. In 2013, we'll stay for a while longer. Next in line is the 1994 Jeep Cherokee. It was released on October 26, 2013. This Jeep mod was originally created for the game Rigs of Rods and contains four configurations. The only difference is that each configuration has different wheels. 
Despite the age of the mod, there are no missing textures anywhere. Perhaps the only problem I've found is the broken orbit camera. As for the interior, it's composed of 2D textures. But in 2013, the focus was primarily on vehicle mechanics, performance, and deformation. Despite the mod is 11 years old, I would recommend everyone to give it a try. I had a lot of fun with it while filming this video. Just be careful when entering corners, ease off the gas a bit, as the car tends to roll over very easily. So if you enjoy doing rollover crashes in Beam and G, this mod is perfect for you. Hellhopper is another very old mod that was originally released back in 2013. It has only three configurations, which is not much, but it's fun to drive this thing around. Again, I'm very surprised that there are no missing textures or any other problem considering its age. The only bad thing that comes to mind are the lights. They are very bright. When you look into them, it's very similar to looking at an exploding flashbang in Counter-Strike. But other than that, the mod works flawlessly. And just like with a Jeep Cherokee, be careful of your speed when entering corners. If you're not careful, the car will easily flip over. You can even try to crawl with this thing. I'm not really into crawling in BeamNG, but I really enjoyed it this time. ETKS series is another mod that used to be very popular in the Beam and G community. While the car includes 19 configurations, personally, I think that they look very similar. There are no significant differences among them. They mostly differ only in minor details. Personally, I was never a fan of this mod because it always seemed quite common to me. However, I must say that I quite like it now. Unfortunately, the mod is outdated and contains many parts that no longer have textures. But for lovers of this car, I have good news. User JavaScript has been working on an improved version of the ETK S series for a few months now, and it looks very promising. And the last forgotten mod of our list is Soliad Fieri. This mod is based on the real-world car Pontiac Fiero. You can choose from 11 configurations, but again, they all look very similar to each other. It was released on December 16th, 2019. However, this mod wasn't as popular as, for example, the Hirochi Prasu or the Bitron B2, but it still appeared in the videos by well-known YouTubers from time to time. Unfortunately, due to game updates, Soliad Fury has been broken since 2021. You can still drive it without any issues but the car is completely covered in a no-texture coat. In 2022, the user Windows Ed XP did release a fixed version, but it didn't take long before even this fixed version was soon broken by the game updates. Unfortunately, it seems that we will probably never see this mod in the game ever again. And that's all for today's video. If you know more Forgotten Beam NG mods, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to make part two about old mods. They bring back so many good memories. Anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss my next video. Have a nice day, everyone.